Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Before we get into your reading, Libra, I want to give you guys a quick update and let you guys know. It has came to our attention that we have a lot of fakes out there pretending to be me on social media. So if you see any accounts that are not connected with me, whether it's on Instagram, on Facebook, on uh, here on YouTube channel, uh, report them so that their accounts could be deleted. It's been multiple occasions that I've had people reach out to me that they paid for a reading when I had no idea. Um, and it turns out that they sent a payment to someone else. I'm not sure why they're doing this. I know I'm not the only um, creator that's going through this. So definitely report those accounts, you guys. Here as well on my YouTube channel, I've been noticing a lot of freaking spammers you know, report those comments so that they could be deleted. I have a lot of people coming on the videos trying to lure other people to go to their sites uh, or to message them, etc. And it's not okay when you're sharing your personal information with someone you're thinking is me and it happens to not be me. So again, if you're unsure, if you're following me on Instagram or any other social media, check my YouTube channel. On our main page, we have our all our social medias those are the ones that it is me so just so you guys can know um not sure why people are doing this but it's so freaking annoying so just report them anyways let's get into your reading libra let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month of june 2021 in regards to love and romance now the first card that popped out is the prince of wands maybe dealing with the fire energy sagittarius aries leo type of vibe or Virgo, okay, Earth Energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, okay, so you're starting off with the Prince of Wands, this is indicating a lot of quick communication, communication back and forth, the Hermit card may represent the partner's current energy, so you may feel them a little bit distracted, a little bit more, um, perhaps not communicating as much as they would naturally communicate. However, I do see them really putting effort or energy, um, trying to, uh, what I'm hearing is them trying to figure out their lives. So I'm not sure if you're dealing with the person that uh, is having any type of financial difficulties or if this person is um, really putting a lot of effort and energy towards their goals, towards their career. I do see like money motivated here. So again, I feel that this could be you or this could be your partner's energy or the person of your interest. However, things are going to progress. I see this connection, um, like you guys have had your ups and downs, but I feel it's stabilizing more at the end of this month. I feel that there is a coming together, a understanding or being able to be on the same page. I feel that uh, it's very reciprocating type of energy. Again, I feel that this is going to be unfolding for you in the end of June, the beginning of July. Um, the Hermit card is uh, really sticking out for me, and this is indicating the uh, wanting to pull away to try to figure out what their emotions are, try to figure out where they want to go moving forward in this connection. I really do see them looking towards you, Virgo, so... If there was a situation where you felt like they're not as communicative as they have in the past, I think this is only temporary. It's kind of like them taking stock or inventory of what it is that they want and trying to figure out if, there are, if they are aligning themselves to the goals that they have. This could be them looking at you as well, trying to figure out you know, um, if you're willing to put in the effort the way they are to be able to stabilize this connection or this relationship. With the three of pentacles, this is indicating the, again, the coming together, the being on the same page, the talking over certain things um, in this connection. But the six of pentacles is a very beautiful card. Uh, I feel that this is talking about being able to find the balance in that relationship. So it could just be that uh, if your partner's a bit distant or if it's you, Virgo, the one that's a bit, a bit distant right now, I feel heavily that it has a lot to do with career. You guys are being very like career driven, money motivated right now, or this could be your partner as well, really putting in effort because this is a very, um, I see a lot of opportunities around you, a lot of growth, a lot of stability when we're talking about finances. So again, 
I feel that it's just them trying to figure out or trying to find the balance because they're overworking or doing a little bit too much of anything that has to do with career or finances. This could be vice versa. This could be your energy, Virgo. Uh, it is a general reading, but I feel very strongly that things are going to progress in a positive way and being able to find the common ground, being able to balance, to be able to give to the relationship as well as keep their focus on the goals and aspirations that they're trying to achieve at the present time. So again, be a little bit patient. Um, the Prince of Wands could represent a little bit of anxiousness or a little bit of like, I want quick movement. I want it now. This could be your energy, Virgo. It is in your position. Um, but what they're telling you here is just be a little bit more patient. Um, things will start to balance or will become or start to feel more balanced and then putting a little bit more effort once they're able to uh, balance out their their lifestyle right now is what I'm hearing. So um things will or should start to progress in a positive way. All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.